All right, more on the uh, the best news ever coming up in just a bit. But we have beef up front. That's right, we do. And Matt Slauson, who was just put down on IR, because you just heard <laughs> Wellesley talked about two broken vertebrae in his back and continued to play in the game against the Patriots on Thursday. That is, he is the man. Here you go. Time for the Beef Up Front Report, brought to you by Joe's Butcher Shop and Fish Market in Carmel. Always fresh, always local. With me right now in the locker room is Matt Slauson. Nice start to the season for you. Yeah, thank you. Um, you know, I've been I've been trying trying really hard. Um, my focus a lot of time has been on le- leadership, but uh, um, having to move move from my comfortable position on the left now playing on the right, uh, it's taken a little 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 bit of time, but. Uh, but I'm really starting to feel set, settled in now in that spot. And your familiarity with the offense, that's got to help too, right? Oh, yeah. You know, a lot of the calls carry over from Sir- Sirianni being being with him uh, the last last couple of years has helped a lot. Um, you know, a lot of the terms are the same. So, um, so yeah, I've been having fun. What, what's the difference? You being out there in San Diego with this offense, the personnel, how, how has the offense changed with the personnel you have here in Indy versus maybe what you had out there? Uh, similar styles. I I would say, um, y- you know, we're doing a little bit more RPO stuff. Uh, not 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 that we didn't have RPOs in other places. A lot of people like like to think what Philly did with the RPO stuff last last year is revolutionary. Nobody's ever run RPOs. No, there, there's been RPOs in this league forever. Um, it's just now now we're doing a little bit more of it and uh and frank has made it a lot more a lot more extensive a lot of different plays off of rpo stuff and that and that's been fun and a run pass option if you look at the play calling right now it seems to be a lot of passing yeah. <laughs> it seems to be heavily that way and it's kind of affecting the run game how discouraging is that to be 29th in the run and knowing you you can do better yeah it it it, it is it's 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 tough we we have to do a much much better job as a line and just as an entire blocking u- unit but you, you, you know, a lot of times it's tough at the beginning of the year because uh, every game there's a brick wall in front of you, and uh, and it takes some time to break to break break it down. Um, so, in my experience, I've been part of some really good ru- rushing teams. I've been part of two different squads at the Jets that were number one in the league, um, and then I was part of one at the Bears that was top top five in the league. And last year out in LA, I think we were top 10 sometimes it takes five six seven weeks to really get it going and then you just explode so um you know we have to do a better better job but but also you also have to be patient with it as well what are you going to tell the guys about your time with the jets and being able to play there and is there any similarity with the team is now to when you were there no there's i I mean it's a completely different team i'm i'm now six years removed um new new coach new personnel staff uh all new team um so i can tell them what the atmosphere is going to be be like but but other than that you know it's just another game another game we have to go in and handle our bit business I mentioned this is brought to you by Joe's Butcher Shop and Fish Market. I got some gift certificates for it. I just wonder when you go to a butcher shop, are you, are you a big butcher shop guy? I've actually heard heard about uh, Joe's. Costanzo uh, mentioned it, and I haven't got gotten over there there yet. I'm excited to. Well, we're good. We'll give you some gift certificates. You can go shop. And what case are you going to first? You going to the seafood case? You going to the meat case, chicken case, beef beef case for sure. Right. Your your ideal meal would be what? Uh, ribeye steak. And then any type of potatoes sitting next next to it. You know, I'm a Midwest. Any, wait, 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 any potatoes? Uh, I'm, I mean, any any steak and potato deal okay. it, to me is the best. Um, whether it's a baked baked potato, mashed scallop, I, I I don't care. But as long as it's a nice hunk of of meat and potatoes, we're all set. Sounds good. Is that the what feeds you? you? You were brought in here kind of as a nasty guy. I mean, you're just a throwback guy that way, or what? Well, I just wonder if this meat and potatoes feeds into that. <laughs> no, I've I've always been like 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 that. Um, uh, as far as getting brought here, you know, I I I, I know Ballard from my time in in Chicago. Um, I pride myself in being part of the last CBA group. So coming in the league when we still had two days in camp, and um, and I got taught by some really really quality vets. Uh, 
and so all I'm trying to do is do the same the same thing that th those guys at the Jets did you know Nick Mangold to Brickishaw Ferguson Brandon Moore Alan Fanica some great players there. Damian Woody I mean just some really incredible players incredible pros and really qual quality guys uh, I'm just trying to do the same thing for these guys that they did for me yeah, we talked about the slow start earlier this week on the show about you know some of the reasons why you don't know what you have until later on some of it has to do with the four game suspension some of it has to do with rule changes and the officials trying to fight, figure all that out but you know it does have to do with not being as physical in camp yeah well yeah and uh, and also we've been pretty bang banged up um, we have a lot of a lot of weapons out we uh, you know I was just talking about the league in general you know oh oh yeah absolutely um, so I mean the teams that are that are number one in the league rushing now they may not be at the end of the year you never know when when a team is going to catch catch fire in the running game all right we like to get to know the guys a little bit better i don't know if ac has told you about the slow jam we like to play a little music behind the uh, interview here okay. your favorite slow jam your go-to music are you a married guy i am married kids kids i got How many three. three oldest is seven okay so you're right in though so you probably don't have a little, whole lot of chance to get romantic anymore but if you're going to get romantic what are you putting on the what are you playing uh so i'm not not really a slow jams guy, but uh, uh, 90s country, 2000s country, um, Tim McGraw, uh, Tim McGraw, My Best Friend, that was one of our wedding songs. Uh, okay. How long ago was that? Did you remember? I don't even remember our wedding song. Um, my wife and I have been married for eight and a half years now, almost nine, we'll be nine in fe February, so uh, it's been great. Good for you. Good luck this week and success. Thank you. Appreciate it. Joe, what did you say? We did that on Monday. And you Monday, said you couldn't remember your wedding? No, I have no clue. <laughs> no clue what your no wedding clue. song is. None. <laughs> so, I have no so idea. Hell of a, I have no idea what the now, wedding song you is. Could give, you could give me, a, it could be part of the pop quiz, and you could give me multiple choice, and I wouldn't be able to get it. <laughs> I, I, honest to goodness, have zero clue. What what our wedding song was? Oh. <laughs> uh, I know it's going to get me killed, but I don't. That's I'm, just, I'm saying, well, I don't. I think that would be something you would get killed over. I, I don't think know. That would be something you get slaughtered. Need over. a place so, to stay tonight? Can you do me a favor, Joe? Can you put your um? We we normally don't do this on radio, but can you put your? Can you turn on your tone on your phone? I I would love to hear when it beeps. Okay. <laughs> I would just love to hear. Mm -hmm. Would it be so you can turn the sound up for Nothing. us, please? Pam, if you just want to call in. <laughs> no, no, no. I actually really want to. I just, the ding would just make my day. That would just, <laughs> that would really just make my day if it would happen. Um, pop, <laughs> pop quiz is coming up in a matter of, uh, pop quiz coming up in a matter of moments. Uh, 239 is our number. We have a special theme for the pop quiz. And so that Hello. will be, yeah, we have a special quiz <laughs> for the, so a special theme for the pop quiz that is so that'll be coming up in uh in just a matter of moments two three nine ten seventy is our number two three nine uh -oh. <laughs> two three nine ten seventy is our number the bird just rang <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm afraid yeah. to look is this yeah, Badgley take... is this my wife got... <laughs> or, or is this another is this somebody else that just told me if a fattier diet makes elite athletes then I'd be in the hall of fame <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> blow it up. It's Blow going it up. crazy now. Quick timeout. We're back in a moment here on the fan. <laughs>